The New York Jets got smacked around again on primetime, this time by their former quarterback in Joe Flacco. The offensive line had a ton of struggles. I want to key in on Makai Becton and look at every snap. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, I want to take a look at yesterday's game tape, specifically at Makai Becton, because the big ticket has got some big problems. I've gone through the tape about two, three times already, and it was not pretty. We're going to look at all 71 snaps. Let's pull up some stats real quick to give you a little context of what we're talking about from this game from Makai Becton. There were 19 run snaps, there were 52 pass snaps, and 71 total snaps. I'm going to include a few caveats in there with some of the penalties and whatnot, but we'll we'll look at all of it. Uh, run grade 79.2, looking pretty decent from Makai Becton on those 19 run plays. But then an abysmal 10.4 out of Makai Becton in the pass blocking grade, which graded him out as a 25.5. He allowed eight pressures, one sack, and had five penalties registered against him, according to Pro Football Focus. So let's take a look at the tape and see if that was true and just how much he struggled and what the Jets did to try and prevent or neutralize some of that Browns pass rush. All right, let's hop into the table. We'll try to go through this as quick as possible. Mekhi Becton, first rep here. Little run play to Brees Hall. Not a whole lot going on. Follows that up. They put Conklin in motion away from Mekhi Becton. Quick pass. Gets the ball out fast. I like that. They realize immediately that Miles Garrett's going to be a problem. Next snap. Kai Becton, nice little run here. Cut back from Brees Hall. Runs through a gap created by mainly Lake and Tomlinson, but you got to give Makai Becton a little bit of credit here as well. Watch this. Becton holds on to Miles Garrett, gets him pushed a little bit upfield, and then Lake and Tomlinson peels off his guy, gets to the next level, and Brees is able to take advantage of that gap between the two uh, linemen. So a nice little start there for him. Uh, this next play, Makai's run it down. Away from the ball. Not a whole lot there. They run at Mekhi Becton. This one, not great. Mekhi Becton getting his, uh, letting his guy make the tackle. Miles Garrett here, you'll see. Just a little, oh, I want to get off this. Boom. Tackles Izzy in the backfield. Never had a shot right there. This next rep, Kai Becton pushes Garrett up field for the touchdown for Brees Hall. Nice little, little play there. Garrett doesn't get a chance to get the ball out fast. I like what they're doing on offense from that first drive perspective. Now, obviously, they get the Gibson fumble. Browns score again. Jets get the ball back inside their 10. Kai Becton kind of kind of getting blown past there a little bit, but his guy doesn't make the tackle. Here they got extra help at the top of the screen with him. Got you uh Yaboa. Looks like Miles Garrett's not in on that play. Becton didn't really have to do much there. I mean, it ain't from a lack of trying, I would say, on the coach's part to try and help Makai Becton out here. Like this next play. Starts a little bit halfway through there. But you got, is that Yaboa at the top next to Makai Becton and then Conklin right behind him? They're doing everything they can to help the left side of that line. And they get that interception. What is going on here? Now, this is the penalty for like illegal formation where a wide receiver lined up in the wrong spot. But watch the offensive line. Watch Mekhi Becton. Watch where people are pulling. No one seems to know what the hell's going on. We got guys going every which way. Crashing left, trying to go right. This is just a cluster. Mekhi Becton, everyone else, no one's got any idea what to do. Look, all the offensive linemen standing at the 40. I can't peg this solely on Mekhi Becton, but that was not a good, uh, not a good rep there. This time they pull and go to the left. This is the uh, Wildcat with Garrett Wilson. Now, if you see Makai, he's already at the second level. 
He's hitting a linebacker. Good job, big ticket, getting all the way out there. Unfortunately, we're getting tackled in the backfield regardless. Not ideal. They run a little stunt. Becton essentially taken out of the play because of it. Tomlinson moves up to kind of go into Becton's area. Becton pushes the guy upfield, allowing us to get the uh, pass off to Breeze here. Now, Becton just gets absolutely blown up. His guy doesn't end up making the tackle, but just watch. Watch what happens to Makai. Right around, like, oh, okay. Now he's got a free line. He got the little hand on him. Just enough to make the play happen. So good recovery from Makai on that one. Makai holds up well there. Unfortunately, acrobatic catch does not come down with it. Ball winds up hitting. Watch this. Look at how many guys... They have in for Miles Garrett on the left-hand side. You've got Hall. You've got Conklin. You've got Becton. And Lakin doesn't even have to touch anyone. They rush three to the right-hand side. They got four trying to protect the left-hand side because of how bad Makai's been in this game. Absolutely silly season, if you ask me. This is the sack. Kai Becton gets smoked on a little inside move here by Miles Garrett. A little stutter step. Doesn't stand a chance. Simeon, good night. Just never a shot. Now, Miles Garrett's incredible. I don't want to, like, disregard the fact that Kai might have gone up against the best pass rusher in the league or one of the best technically sound pass rushers in the league. But it's not like they didn't give him a lot of help. He just got his cookies stolen from him. This is a hit on Trevor Simeon now. Miles Garrett gets inside. Not a bad hit, but he's getting hands on the quarterback. Consistently. Right around Makai. Right in front of him. Right in front of his face. They get the ball out fast. They're trying to neutralize this pass rush as best they can. Makai washes Garrett all the way upfield. No gain, but not Makai's fault here. Not a bad rep. They get the ball out fast. Ball's out quick again. Good defense, good catch by Conklin. Now this one just getting run in front of come on Makai just pushed all the way from the right from the left hand side all the way to the right <laughs> just move his guy out of the way now, I don't know if this is on Makai for the pocket collapsing because his guy is right in where Trevor Simeon's got to step up forces Simeon out of the pocket but there's no one over here it gives us an opportunity to catch the pass. So really not that bad. Kind of neutralized it. This one. Not a sack, but Makai gets a penalty for a hold. Would have been a sack if he didn't hold. Prevents Simeon from really getting taken out quickly here. Just absolutely mugged Miles Garrett. Nothing crazy there. Fine rep by Makai. Motion Bodden. Look at this. Makai's getting to the second level. I like this. This is, this is Becton and Titman are already hitting the linebackers right there. And it just allows Brees Hall. Look at how many... Like, this is what happens when Brees Hall isn't touched. Well, I guess he got clipped a little bit in the backfield. <laughs> there you go, Ryan. Saying stuff. But I like... I think it uh, overall pretty good. This is Lake and Tomlinson's fault. 
if Lakin just holds his block for half a second, look at the blocking they got downfield. It's ridiculous. Another run play. Opposite side of Makai. Little counter. Everyone gets washed to the right. Brees can cut it back. Watch everyone going to the right. Just puts his foot down. He's got all the room in the world on that left-hand side. Becton, speed around the back a little bit, but not, not terribly so. This is a third and inches play. Now, this is weird. I don't understand this from like a schematic standpoint. Gibson is supposed to block Miles Garrett here. And then Makai gets out to the left-hand side. Now, luckily, I mean, Gibson doesn't even realize the ball's getting snapped. Miles Garrett's like already in the backfield. You're cooked. Luckily, Gibson's around, able to get around Makai right here and get a little bit of an arm on Garrett. And then you got Makai out front leading the way. Nice little conversion there. Should have been a loss. Miles Garrett absolutely dominated this game. So I marked this play. And it's not terrible, but watch who tackles Brees here. 90, was it 93, 97? Now look at the start of this play. 93. Makai Becton's guy. He's got him, got him. He just kind of like stops. Allows his guy to make the tackle. It's not finishing a play. Sloppy tape. You got Conklin helping Becton here. Gets a nice long play to Garrett. Down on the goal line, Conklin in line with Becton as well. This is another hit on the quarterback. Just watch how Becton gets dipped under. All the speed in the world for Miles Garrett just around hits Simeon again. Up close look at it. Just dips. Makai tries to hit him in the head, trying to slow him down. Anything. This play is just kind of the epitome of what last night was. Then Jets don't get the uh, touchdown there, unfortunately. Pass play rolls out to the right-hand side. Nothing crazy there. Becton leading the way. Now, I, I won't pretend like I know what his assignment is here, but he blocks an inside guy, and I feel like he should block the outside guy on this. Watch Makai right here. He's got the option between two different players, and he's looking at the inside player. I believe that's 44, rather than the player that's a little further upfield. And maybe it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't type of situation where whichever one he blocks, the other guy's making the tackle. But this just felt like it was never given a shot. Quick throw to Bodden. Trying to neutralize that pass rush as best they can. They're throwing right at the side for Miles Garrett. Now you see a few plays in a row. They go to the left twice. This time they actually drop Garrett into coverage, hoping to get them uh, like a little slant maybe to, uh, to uh, Garrett Wilson. They catch him with a run here. That was a good, good play call. Becton gets a little push up front, gets them the first down. Now this play, this was a flag called on Irv Charles for a false start. Pay attention here. Let me know who you think actually moves here. You see it? It's not Irv Charles that moves first. It's Makai Becton that gets Irv Charles to move. And uh, I don't know if they'll adjust it and Makai gets credit for that penalty, but that was absolutely caused by Makai there. Quick pass to the left. Get the ball out fast. 
suspect and getting help. Doesn't end up leading to anything. Makai's guy gets off his block. Trevor Simeon steps up. Now, this one wasn't credited as, as a sack. It is technically a gain of one here. But it's a gain of one because Makai, Makai cannot hold his block. This was just on display nonstop throughout the night. Run the opposite way of Makai there. Little end around. So watch Makai again here. Top of the screen. He's got Miles Garrett. Now what's going on here? Makai's let Garrett get underneath him. Now they do end up converting. Ain't from a whole lot of help of Makai though. I know this is going to sound like I'm I'm beat up about Makai. <laughs> Picking on him a bit, but he got picked on all last night. 